hello and welcome to our next poem on Dilhova. And um, just before we start, just to let you know, all our books are now at CNA. Uh, if you haven't got this book and you're struggling with grammar, this book will teach you everything you have to know, get you ready for the exams. Uh, please pick up a copy from CNA. Let your friends know. Okay, on with the poem. Uh, we're looking at Andil Hoer. Uh, quite a tricky, tricky poem. Uh, lots of vocab that you need to know, financial sort of terms, economic terms that you have to sort out in your head and just learn. But I uh, made some summaries for you, got them all down, and also what they will possibly ask. Uh, we can sort of guess here. So for this poem is the effort that you put in and studying for it will pay off because there's only so much they can ask. So as uh, usual, we have um, the, the poem here, and then we have the English, and then we have the, uh, the notes that you will be interested in seeing um, over there. Cool. Uh, so let's just go through a translation of the poem. Uh, this one I think will take, unfortunately, take a while. Okay, Andil Hoer is a, a lot of this is just learning, eh? just learning vocab, a shareholder. Okay, so Andil Hoer is a, a shareholder. Okay, so it immediately asks the question, shares and what? Okay, what kind of shares are we talking about? Okay, so it says, in die jonge year, this fine young man, okay, this fine young man, um, gaan hy ook een dag in sy paase voetspore volg, is he also going to follow in his dad's footsteps, okay, volg is follow, then, this is probably a, a teacher asking this, and then the boy answers, he says, no ways, meneer. No ways, sir. Interest is nie in finance. My interest is not in finance. You see the enjambment there, the ambiment, how it flows in quite an awkward way into the um, into the next line. So in the English, the I would probably be there. Eh? No, sir, I don't have. So it would be more logical for the I to be there, but there's a meaning behind that. And I, I've got a note for you on that. So that will be a question. So no way, sir. Interest in finance, I don't have. Okay. Rate me by a hoog word. I don't rate high words, or I don't rate words very highly. Okay. I don't look into the importance of words. Okay. Um, so it's sort of a double meaning there, actually. Okay. So it doesn't rate high words as in, as in difficult language terminology, um, but also the value of words. Okay, the value of words. Okay, so it's inflacy, uh, inflation, recession, recessy, aandele, or shares. So there's a bit of learning involved here. Okay, beers draai ek nie in my sak. So my beers is my, my, uh, my beers here, my wallet. Okay. But yeah, it can also mean my stocks. I don't carry my stocks in my pocket. Or well, I do carry my stocks in my pocket. Invest my tight in energy. So invest I. Uh, invest or belay. I've got the note for you. I invest my time and money in sport. My muscles. My, sp my spire. Okay, my muscles. But is that it. Assets they have, my barters, my assets, they have an effect on the girls. Okay. Hulle bloedrug, bloedrug opwaarts neig. Makes their blood pressure trend upwards. So you, do you see the, the panya, the play with financial terminology, economic words, and how it uh, plays with their double meaning. Okay, and that's, that is the essence of the poem. Okay, it is tricky though when you do it in your second language. Okay, my risk is matig. My risk is average, medium risk, 
verstevig is. Stevig is solid. For solid, profit runs, but he uses the word runs as in loopies for like cricket runs. Okay. Ek, ek, ek cricket, uh, for solid runs, I watch cricket. I don't watch the, the financial charts. I watch cricket. Okay. Um, and anyway, who cares what the price is from Kuring, Millis, and Sonnebrook? Who cares what the cost or the price is? That word becomes quite important in the context of the poem, as we'll see. Uh, what is the cost or the price of uh, wheat, um, millies, and sunflower seeds? All right. So let's unpack this a little bit. First of all, let's look at the at the title. Okay, so a title uh, uh, there's a, a oh, it's a bit dark. Uh, it's a bit dark. Just take that away. We we'll use the the green maybe. Okay, it's a shareholder is an ondial hoe. What is an ondial hoe? Okay, the definition of it in Afrikaans is someone who is iemand wat die wins deel. You deal the wins. You share the profit. He has stemrecht in a maatskapie or firm, firma. Okay. He has voting rights in a company okay, or firm. Okay, so a maatskapie is a, is a company. Okay. Um, company or a firm. Okay. I draw deal for the risk, but you also then share part of the risk. And there is a risk here. Um, the, the double meaning now has to do with parenting and the, the, the shares or the investment that parents make into their children. Okay, so that's the, just keep that in mind as we run through this is what investment has this father the head of the family made in this in this kid has he just made money for him so he can be comfortable or did he, has he really shown him interest and and love okay so there's a big contrast here in the poem the whole time between this in the bar in seen se wereld so there's a great contrast this in the bar in the seen se wereld what kind of risks they take what they're interested in we'll see here Okay, line one and two, there's someone speaking here, and this will be a good question, I think, I would definitely ask this, is who's talking here, who's possibly speaking here, wie praat hier, okay, as an older person, it's an older person, it says meneer, which could, um, because he addresses him as meneer, you see there, could be a, a teacher, as in a sir, okay. Van daar af antwoord die tiener in sy gemengde taal. From there, the rest of the poem, then, is an answer. The rest of the poem is an answer in the teenager's own mixed language, gemengde taal, in a sort of slang, English Afrikaans language. All right, so that's very important for this poem. Is who's talking the way? Who's talking there in the first two fascials, just the two fascials, and we praat in the rest van die gedag. Critical for this poem. Okay. Then there's this pun that we spoke about, word spell. Okay. There's this pun, and you need to know, understand and be able to explain the pun with all these financial words because they could pick out any one of them so you need to learn all of them and that's why i made a note for you <laughs> for all of them so just learn these notes and you should i think for this poem you should be fine if you just just learn this okay we're spell met die volgende financiële terme wat de dubbele betekenis aanneem Okay, so financial terms, okay, that take on, onium is adopt or take on a double meaning. What are these words? Interest rate, 
um, beers, uh, invest, belay, barters, assets, effecta, um, loopies, profit runs, effecta, also like um, shares, okay. Uh, I have to look up, Google some of these things and just try and simplify the note for you um, so that you all pick up your marks if they go that route. They may have to because there's not much else in the, to the poem. Okay. So they all have a double meaning in the context of this poem. So be very careful. Okay. Let's just draw a line. Okay. Hang on. Let's just go on. Okay. So pass a foot spurter. Gaan hy ook enig en sê, paas een voetspore volg. It's sort of an annoying thing that all the people sometimes do. Oh, you're going to follow in your dad's foot, footprints. Um, you have big shoes to fill. It's, a, it's, it's not a good thing to actually say to someone, I don't think. Um, maybe, and I said it there, die sien wil sy eie voetspore maak. Maybe he wants to make his own path, make his own footprints in the sand as it were, okay, so the pa is betrokken, betrokken is involved in the financial world, in the fin financiële wereld, in plaas druk op sy sien, he places, or puts pressure on his son, pressurizes his son, om ook baie geld te maak, en belang te stel in finansies, and, and to be interested in in uh, in finance okay maybe it doesn't sound like he's interested in finance at all maybe he wants to carve his own way maybe he's just spoiled um, he's like a trust fund baby okay unappreciative um, the product of of sort of a failed parenting strategy or something along those lines Okay, that's open to uh, your interpretation, which may be a question. Okay. Um, this word, younger year, it's an interesting one. It's sort of, you don't hear that often in Afrikaans. It's sort of an archaic, um, I think it's the spelling right there of archaic. I'm not sure. No, archaic. Um, I think it's right. Okay, sort of use it. Why old tal gebruik? Very old. Um, why this the use of this language? Um, for two reasons. Two marks, yeah. Hey? You waste the pa in your universe. It shows that the dad and the teacher so eight cake, their view and begrip, their comprehension, their understanding of the teenager's world is uh, updated. For Odet is outdated. It's old. Okay? That's one mark. Second mark. If you say, um, oh, you're such a fine, hey, come here for you fine young man. It's a bit um, condescending. A bit top down. Um, it's beginning near Holland. So that, just learn that word near Holland and you will get you'll get your marks there okay so begin at Holland right now now we start hitting these words interest okay so he uses the English word okay so that doesn't mean you <laughs> this doesn't mean you can use the English word you need to know the correct Afrikaans term first of all and then know what it means and then you must know the double meaning so that's what makes this poem tricky. So it uses the English word interest rate or interest, interest rate. There it is. Finance. Okay. You need to understand, first of all, what that is in Afrikaans and then what it, what it means. And thirdly, the double meaning in the context of this poem. That makes it pretty, pretty tricky. So you have to be very careful with this poem. So a lot of preparation that goes in for this one. Okay. Interest is a rente koers. Okay, and that is your interest rate. Okay. Um, yeah, explain it there. Okay, interest rate because they actually go together. Okay. So I just said that the past still belong. Now obviously 
the double meaning is belangstellings. Okay. Uh, dubbele betekenis. Belangstellings. Your interests as in your belangstellings. Okay. The past, they belong and say, on DLA, he's interested in his shares and his business and his finances. The boy is interested in cricket, gym, and girls. Okay. The question then we can ask is, is he interested enough in his son's life, actually? Just a, just a question. Perhaps not. It's, not. it's not necessarily the case. It could be just a spoiled kid. Okay. So the interest rate is, what is interest rate? Um, your rente koers. Okay, what is rente koers? Here's the definition for you. Um, in case they ask this, okay. Hoeveel geld jy terugbetaal op leerning? How much money you pay back on a loan to the bank as a percentage per month? So the interest rate will fluctuate a high percentage rate is bad you pay back a lot of money on your loan so low interest rate is good you don't pay back a lot okay I can break it as in but now he uses it differently okay I don't rate he says I don't use the word rate okay and he says uh, so here's your double meaning Use it as right as an ach. How does he regard? Okay, ach, it's not important. How hard, highly do you regard um, words? In this case, it's words, eh? The words there. How highly do you regard? Who will ach you it? So just learn that. You've got to know it. Um, tricky one. Okay, and flossy. Um, just so inflatie, recensie, on you. So they're just listing words here. Inflatie, the definition of inflation is the waarde, is the, is the value or the buying power of money. That's a nice short little definition. Or, hoeveel your geld waard is. How much your money is actually worth. Okay, that can zoom. Inflation is very high. So your money is worth nothing. Um, yeah, our inflation goes up so your money becomes worth less and less okay um recessie is a what is a recession it's a it's when economic activity decreases you go into a recession people just do less business less money is exchanging hands less products are being sold etc economic activity near off it decreases on dealer um, what are on dealer? It's shares. So it's the part that part of a company that you own is the shares. If you own one share, you own a very small percentage of the company. One share doesn't mean one percent of the company. Okay, so a beers is a small part of the company that you own. It's almost like a, um, a beers and a on deal, I think, is. It's pretty much the same thing. It's a small part of the company that you own, sit. The boy owns nothing. He just owns his muscles and his cricket talent. The, the father owns uh, evidently a lot more. Okay, a lot of money, perhaps profit, uh, property, and so on. Okay. Invest means you see they use the English here. You can't use the English. Just because it's in the poem. You've got to know that invest means belay. What does that mean? It means you putting you plaas geld in a rekening of bezigheid om wins te maak. You put money in an account or, or a business bezigheid to make a profit. What does the boy invest? Wat beleer die sien? Hy beleer tyd en energie in sy voorkoms en is Appearance in cricket and gym, okay. Um, 
the, the father believe, does he invest enough time and love in his son? Genoeg tijd en liefde. That's just a question. Okay. Bartus. What are these things? Assets. Is geld bezigheid of eigendom wat iemand besit? So your assets is money, a business or a property that someone besit owns. Okay, the past of Bartus is geld en eigendom. The dad's assets are money and property. The boy's assets are his muscles. So only asset he needs because that impresses the girls. Okay. At this stage in his life. Effector. Um, okay, effector is also a financial term. From what I can see, it's like a mixed investment. But they obviously use it as effect on the like the effect the effect it has on something or someone. Um, so your dibbler betekenis is the decision gebruikt het as effect op meisies, the effect it has on girls, that's the only effect he is interested in, uh, it's a unit trust, so it doesn't translate nicely, you can't use it, it won't have a nice pun in English like it has in Afrikaans, okay, price, um, Letterlijk die prijs van die uh, where is it, where we now do that op dat soort eigenlijk the the price sorry I think this note belongs with this one yeah the price that we're talking about here is literally the price of the um, shares and figuratively the price that so much work has on your family. Okay, the price of your gesin as you always work. The the price that it that it has on your family. Okay, upwards of nine. Um, a belegging an investment or um, a shares can grow. That's when it's trending upwards. Okay, we've seen those stock market uh, forex sort of charts that trend up and down okay but the pun there is the Macy's a blue drag on up there her blood pressure goes up what does that mean she is attracted to just on getrokken attracted she finds him attractive on track look after all he is a trust fund baby he's got the money so money makes can make you look very attractive for the wrong, so the wrong reasons, of course. Okay, just gonna move this um, down a little bit. So as we go down, there we go. Okay, bought this. Um, of course, the irony here is irony. Is that the boy must know what all these terms mean to be able to use them in a pun? So he's not as dumb as he pretends to be. Okay. I could break English of word. He uses a lot of slang. Um, he doesn't like the world that his father lives in. When these financial people speak, you don't know what they say. Okay, they have their own lingo. Then you'll also note before we go on that there's this uncomfortable use of inyamba mint okay and it, you'll see it we noted noted it yeah um, for example there look here I'm just going to take yellow here look right for the yellow no ways near my interest is near finance it should have ended there but then the act is yeah it should be the act should really be there okay to, to make it read a lot easier okay uh, word is just in a beerstra in my sock, my bar there again. So, there that sentence should end there. Sport, my my muscles is no, sorry, no, no, and sport. The sport should be there. Okay, why is the sport not there? 
it would make it a lot easier. Invest my date and energy in sport. Just put it there, but it's there. Okay, so so why? Why is it this uncomfortable use? It makes it quite. Um, I think if you say this, you'll be safe. It shows the dad's discomfort and disapproval of the boy's interests or lack of interest, if you like. Okay, so it says discomfort and his disapproval of the boy's interest or lack of interest in financial world. I think if you say that about the enumberment, you should be safe. Okay. Matige uh, risiko. So going on with the risk here. Where are we? In my risiko is matig. Okay. Um, my risk is... Um, I'm going to move this down a bit more. Oh, sorry, this thing is taking so long. Um, the, the father evidently doesn't take high risks. Um, so that shows that he has a lot of capital. He has a lot of money. Okay. The boy also has doesn't need to take serious risks because he has big enough muscles and a good enough um, appearance to not really to take risks at all. Okay. Steve Gelopi steady runs a trend of profit. So you can say it's a goede tijdperk van wins. It's a good period of, of profit. Now the double meaning runs. He only is only interested in cricket runs. Okay, so it's a nice pun there. Lopez cricket. The risiko was there. Okay, price. And you know who cares what the price is? Now here again we talk about the price. And now it stands alone. Yeah, which makes it very very interesting. Okay, well uh, not interesting but important. Okay. The alien plasing. Why is it why is it alone on the line there? Well, the proclaim to an that alles gaan oor die price in die financiële wereld. Sorry. Okay. Alles gaan oor price in die financiële wereld. Everything is about the price. Um and but you can ask, well, what is the cost? What is the real, what is the real cost, as in the cost on your family? So I'm just going to say that more what is the price op your gesin, and by implication op hier die sien. Why is he not interested in anything? Why is he just? Um, Seem a bit spoilt, maybe. Okay. He's not interested in the price of wheat, mealies, and um, and sunflower seeds. Okay, so it's sort of banal, it's a bit allerdags, so it's like these everyday things like why would I care about the price of mealies? It's well it's very important in the financial world. It's the it's food sources, it's Staple food sources. It affects the rest of the economy. If people can't eat, they can't work. If you can't work, then there's no economy. Okay. Just interesting. I thought there might be something to this Sonnenblom standing alone like that. Alien Plasing. Why the Sonnenblom? Why is the Sonnenblom not there where, with the others? Okay. So it's attaching a special importance to the word. Because it's standing alone, it might not be, it might just be coincidence, but just just cover ourselves. Uh, Lien Plasing, uh, a sunflower is a symbol of loyalty, admiration, and a long life. Okay, so you can ask a question um, who's admiring the father? Who's admiring the son? What is the son admiring? Um, what do they admire? What are they? Who's planning for a safe life? Yeah, who's looking after retirement? Who's okay? 
And how does it differ between father and son? Then there's no rhyme scheme. Uh, the boy's life is pretty chaotic. And there's no structure to it. Just like the his messy use of language. Slaughter getal. And that uncomfortable enjambment. Okay, yamba meant. And that's in contrast with the dad's life. That's very structured. If the poem was about the dad, everything would rhyme. But yeah, it's about the boy, so nothing rhymes. Okay, do you get the picture? Um, so, in all the poems, in fact, the lack of structure shows us something about the meaning of the poem. Okay, typically that there's some sort of chaos and uh, lack of structure um, that they're trying to bring across by the lack of structure in the poem. I hope that makes sense. Okay, you might have to watch this one again. Um, I hope you can somehow print these print these notes for yourself. Um, yeah, because otherwise you just can't, it's a lot of learning, a lot of vocab learning attached to this to this poem. Okay, so what is the theme here? What is the theme of this poem? Um, Geld kan nie die liefde en bewondering van die sien koop nie. Maybe something like that. Love can't buy the, um, I'm sorry, money can't buy the love and admiration of the boy. Um, uh, daar is a groot koste aan reik word en baie geld maak. There's a big cost to becoming rich and making a lot of money. Uh, something like that. Um, your teacher might um, take a bit more time and just phrase it in a slightly better way in a different way. But I think if you say that, you will be safe. You'll, I'm sure you'll get your marks for that. Okay. Wow, that is a, this is a proper poem. It's difficult. I hope these notes help. And thank you for your support. Get the books from CNA. Share these videos with your friends, please. Um, just put it as your state, the link, the YouTube link as your status or something in WhatsApp so they can see. Um, and get your teacher to, to, to print the, the notes for you if, if possible. Um, hope that helps and I think I'm only going to do one poem tonight we'll, and I'll load it up just now. Thanks for your support and we'll chat soon. Goodbye.